The root back comb is a foundation technique that's good for giving the appearance of more hair or even changing the shape of the head. You'll achieve volume, movement, and interesting texture. Let's see how. So as you can see, I'm taking the hair and I'm sectioning it out of the way so that the hair is not in the way that I'm going to be backcombing. And I'm just going to take a nice horizontal section, not too wide, but wide enough for me to manage the hair. And this is going to be my foundation for the texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the wide teeth of my comb for this particular occasion, and I'm just going to create a padding. So let's stop for a moment. As you can see, what we've done is we've created this stack of padding. Right? So it's kind of like floors. And then what I can do is I can compress it down a little bit more because this is where the foundation of my back combing is. So I've started in the mid shaft or at least, at least far down as three quarters of the way down in the hair shaft. And I've just worked that hair down and just compressed it in to create those steps. Now I'm not worried about the fuzz because I know the hair over top is going to clean it up. And then I also know that I can just take that top layer and smooth it out a bit using my comb or my fingers or a brush, whatever I choose to use. So I've created the profile look that I'm looking for, and I'm just going to let that top section fall over top to give me the volume that I'm looking for. So if I needed to, I could always go further forward if I wanted to create more volume. So now on the left side of the part, so let's stop for a moment. As you can see on the left side of the part, I've taken the hair that's right below it and I've moved it out of the way because I don't want the hair where it's parted to get very frizzy and very textured. I want to keep the hair that's underneath it with the volume but still make it very smooth and very pretty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move that hair out of the way and then I'm just going to back comb the section underneath. So then I'm again just going to take a nice horizontal section, elevate it up, and again working with the same technique, compress it down one and two and three, giving me the padding that I need to create the volume that I'm looking for. And then I'll just take that top section of hair and just lay it over top so I have the shape and the volume that I'm looking for. And then when I go to the other side, on the right side I'm going to again section it out so that I don't have that hair that's going to be fuzzy on the top, move it out of the way, and then on that entire right side I'm going to continue to work with that same backcombing technique using the wide teeth of my comb and backcombing through to create volume. Again, creating that padding, adding up to it, and letting it fall. Looks beautiful. And again, this top section here, if I want to create a little bit more volume, I can work underneath it, elevate it off to the side, and again, just paying very close attention that I'm working on that section underneath that part, so that way it doesn't get too fuzzy where you're going to see your hair. Again, just working it through very gently, and then I can just easily smooth over that top section to have a beautiful, simple volume that's sexy and gives your head a completely different shape.